Hi, everybody. Hi, John Ritlin. Yes, I'm John Ritlin with a shirt unboxing video. And those of you that always wanted to see what my sack looked like on camera, this is a video for you, you weirdos. In case you were wondering, my sack is both big and small, large and tall, and very, very red. I probably should go to the goddamn clinic. No, in all seriousness, this is an order that I got from Redbubble that basically promotes designs from independent artists that are just trying to make their way in the world. Not through an ordinary world where they're trying to survive, except that last part. But yes, Redbubble, Tee Public, various uh, shirt websites like that do promote creativity from independent artists. And that's why I decided to do this. And yes, in case you didn't happen to notice, with this large gaping hole in my sack, again, probably should go to the clinic for this. Ow. I decided to pre-scissor because I do not want to basically scissor on camera without getting paid properly for it. Also, I lack the proper anatomy to properly scissor, but if you want to see proper scissoring, check out Blue is the Warmest Color. You know what scenes I'm talking about. But yes, here's a large gaping hole in my sack. And in case you are unfamiliar with Redbubble, they do occasionally run sales on stickers, <clears throat> on shirts, on uh, jackets. I actually have a hooded jacket <clears throat> with... Um, you know, an activities for children thing, and it's like, who summoned Johnny? Because, of course, I had to get that. But I decided I'd treat myself and take advantage of the 35% off sale that they occasionally run here and there. So I ordered seven shirts, and unfortunately, one got shipped before the rest of them got shipped. So, yeah, I'm kind of cheating here a little bit when I show you this one. Because, of course... Because I always reference this goddamn song by Talking Heads, I had to get it. It is, it's a little bit confusing, but for those of you that know the goddamn song, <laughs> there it is. But now, again, with the large gaping hole in my sack, let's dig into my sack and figure out what the hell I have. I know what I ordered, but let's find out together just how this stuff goes. So, excuse me, I'm just going to put my sack over here. And I'm going to get... God, man, these things are just crammed in here. God, I, I, I hate I'm going to empty my sack of crammed things. Then again, it happens at that age. So, nevertheless, let's take a look at... <laughs> Love Lies Bleeding. One of my favorite movies of the goddamn year. Such an incredible film. Katie O'Brien, Kristen Stewart. I mean, my goddamn goodness. How could you not appreciate these two beauties, these two talented women? And speaking of which, actually, speaking of talent, I feel the need to bring the producer on because the producer needs to weigh in on this stuff. So let's get the producer involved in this whole thing. So the producer is going to come on, and the producer is going to talk about Love Life Bleeding because you actually sat down with me and watched some of it. You did. You did. Don't lie. Don't lie. By the way, in case those of you, ow, in case those of you are unfamiliar, um, this is Sir, aka the producer. I got him about seven years ago, just over seven years ago. He's currently digging his very, very large claws into my cheek. This is going to hurt. But he, um, he was a door drop at uh, Noah, a shelter that is near us, <clears throat> well, about 20 miles away. And I got him at a local PetSmart. <coughs> Some of you that actually have known me since about 2012, 2011 may remember a cat that I shared some pictures of. Old throwback pictures. He reminds me of that. But I decided, because he hasn't appeared on camera for a while, I decided I'd bring him on. I'd bring you on. Um, we, do have a, we do have a new puppy in the house, so... The puppy wants to play, and the buddy doesn't want to. And look at that claw. Look at that dog claw. Why do you hate me? I'm going to give you chicken after this video. So he liked Love Lies Bleeding, didn't you? Didn't you? Okay. <clears throat> so basically, Love Lies Bleeding. Now, we're going to continue with the shirt unboxing and everything. And you're just going to wait. You're just going to wait there. You can eat the rest of the food that I gave you earlier. And then we will continue to do this. So, haha, <laughs> Lisa Frankenstein. Um, getting a chance to, you know, spend your eternal life with Catherine Newton. Who'd want to do that? Me. It's me. I, I want to do that. But no, I had to cop this. <clears throat> um, I do want to say I am going to put all the artists 
uh, all the artist names in the description so you can check it out. <laughs> I probably won't be able to share links because I don't want to mess things up, but I'm going to put their names. I'm going to make sure to do that. So here you go. Lisa Frankenstein. Terrific movie, by the way. Uh, Cole Sprouse was really good in this. I mean, it it could have fleshed out its you know premise a little bit more, but I had a lot of fun with this. Wish it would have done better in theaters. So, let's continue to dig into my sack. <clears throat> and let's do some more here. Let's do some more. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Hereditary. This is the second Hereditary shirt I own. I have the entire monologue that uh, Tony Collette did. <clears throat> Don't you swear at me, you little shit. But this... Man, Hereditary gets better every time I saw it. I remember I originally gave this movie a B plus, and I really should have given it an A plus plus because it's so fucking terrific. But Hereditary is absolutely goddamn wonderful, <clears throat> so I had to put that there. And let's just continue with this unpacking. You know, a white shirt. Did I order a white shirt? I don't remember ordering a white shirt. Oh, oh yeah, God, that's right. Oh, this was on white. Jeez. Another Love Lies Bleeding shirt. Look at this design. Look at this shit. Look at this. This is incredible. Look at this stuff. It's so good. <clears throat> Again, Kristen Stewart and Katie O'Brien, just great. God, they just look incredible in this. So, let's see. Is my sack empty? My sack is empty. Did I already do that one? Where was I doing this? So, hereditary, this, this, this. I'm trying to make sure I didn't miss anything. <clears throat> nope, Lisa Frankenstein. Okay, so we are on to the last couple. So, and this is probably going to offend some people. I don't really fucking care, quite frankly, because this is a Bible t-shirt, in case you can't gather from that. And yeah, I'm not knocking anybody, by the way, that actually uses the stories in the storybook to properly teach people and live a good life. But this pretty much summarizes the whole thing. The book is basically inherently gross. So, now finally, I absolutely had to, I had to cop this. And if you've seen Sleepaway Camp, you know exactly what I'm talking about. This is the uh, third actual Sleepaway Camp shirt that I have. I have that one back there. I have one from the end of the movie. <laughs> but, yeah, the instant I saw that this was there, that design, great fucking design, by the way. Great fucking design. Goodness, no, that, was, that, was, that won't do it all. It's just... The movie's so goofy. I'm not going to say the movie's high class, but it's so fucking entertaining. I try to watch it every Halloween. So, yeah, that's pretty much it right there. That is the end of the shirts. Except, yep, nope, that's it. Okay, I actually couldn't remember if I went through all the shirts or not. <laughs> but there we are. Really, really enjoy the fact that I got to show you these shirts. But in closing, we're going to end with the producer coming back on. Because he saw Sleepaway Camp, he saw the end. You didn't understand why they did that to that person, did you? You didn't understand that. So this, this is how I end the video. This is how I end the video. Why do you hate me? Why do you hate me so much, kitty? Why do you hate me so much? Oh, let's put the, let's put the feetsies up. Okay, you're going to kill me the instant I get end this video, but let's just get on with that. So, yeah, that's it. That's it for the short unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So I had to have a little bit of fun. I occasionally go through shirts and get rid of them. Like, if I haven't worn them in the last, like, five years, so I clean out my closet, as our Lord and Savior uh, Slim Shady Eminem said once. And, yeah, there you go. So those are shirt designs. Do you have any shirts that you guys are really, really happy you bought? Maybe drop the artist links in the comments and like, share, subscribe, Twitter handle in the description. I'm John Rithlin. I'll see you soon.